Okay, gents, we are here at uh, St. Quasi. Firstly, thank you for watching as it's been. Remember to please subscribe and hit that little bell notification if you want to get updates for when we upload videos. We are here at St. Quasi late afternoon. The tell is fishing a league up to Channel Rocks. So we came out of the area. And uh, nice surprise. There's a little bit of color here at St. Quasi, but the water is cold. More importantly, about 2021. In fact, it might be a little cooler. There's a lot of blue bottles, and the, the winds just turned northeast again. It blew south from this morning, which cleaned up the water a bit. Not ideal. Feel sorry for the guys fishing the pump, but it really looks nice here. And uh, the formation's not great. It's a bit of rolling water everywhere. There's a nice hole in front of us, but rolling water from the back. But it's not dumping anymore, and we're pushing to a high tide which means it won't be dumping, so fish can come over. So we're here to try and target some grey sharks. Um, but last weekend they got some really nice uh, honeycombs, uh, hey? sandies, ribbon tails, ribbon tails. So let's hope with the colder water some of those fish are around. It's late afternoon already, it's almost five o'clock. So let's get a bait in the water quickly. I'm using my medium heavy well this is the tournament with the dog fight on the one side but I'm first going to use the medium heavy with a 6.5 Saltiga thinner braid 30 pound J braid this is 50 pound and uh, get a smaller bait out on a bite trace and see if we can't, can't lure in a nice little bite Trace here, 90 pound 7 by 7 surf line onto a fiber surf loop. That by trace with a 0.7. Yeah, you look at that. Linton just gave me a nice little dangle here. And I put a cast clip. That cost clip. Start with a nice little chocolate. About. The sea was still quite a bit big with a lot of surge in the water forming quite a bit of a sidewash which most flatfish, skates and rays don't favour. We spent about an hour next to the water and Linton used the opportunity to have a few casts with these newly acquired Diver Tournament rod we picked up this morning. Alright guys, we made our way to Siola from Zanquasi. We could see the color moved in here and uh, we did the trap here. It's looking good. It's already late afternoon and a couple of guys arrived here with us. So no one's been fishing here, but uh, we had reports from Dunford with a strong northeaster. The fish have moved in yesterday. It was dead. It's a couple of gray sharks they got in the league. But today is definitely looking a lot better. Colder water, the dirty water from the Tugela has moved south. So if the water temperature is right, I haven't actually felt, then uh, we should definitely get a good bite. 
Now planning, preparation and setting up your tackle is part of the whole experience and almost as enjoyable as catching a fish itself. With the blue bottles on the side, we knew the water temperature has dropped quite drastically, which is a good sign in the summer on the Zululin as well as Natal North Coast, and often brings in some bigger non-edible fish. It wasn't long and we realized that there were a lot of shad around. A lot of small shad, that is. That took your bait off in no time. And the first fair sized fish was a nice sized bone fish. I quickly switched over to shad fillets and shad billies, hopefully lasting a little bit longer than any of than any of the other softer bait with the amount of shad that was around. To my surprise, I was flattened by a fish, which at first made me think it was a nice size cob. But to my surprise, a new PB shad, and gave me a good run for my money fishing with a Dawa tournament rod. A handful of smaller cop came out as well. Thank you all for watching and remember to subscribe and like the video.